Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good morning friends. Nasdaq closed at 10,569.29, a gain of 264 points on Friday. Whereas Nasdaq future is trading with a gain of 34 points as of now. Dow Jones closed at 33,630.61, a gain of 701 points on Friday. And Dow Jones future is also trading with a gain of 56 points as of now. S&P 500 gained 2.28 percentage to 3895, a gain of 87 points. All European markets closed in green on Friday. Singapore Nifty is now trading with a gain of 128 points. All Asian markets are now trading in green. Indications are that Indian markets may open with wide gap up. First Q3 result will be out today, which is of TCS. More volatility can be expected today. Market may go up in between but may not keep the upward momentum. TCS Q3 result will be out today along with the declaration of interim dividend which may be around Rs. 8. Money control 4C, a dollar term revenue growth of 1.5% in TCS and rupee term revenue growth of 2.90%. Net profit may go up 7.80% and AP term margin may be increased by 80 basis points all or quarter on quarter basis. Stock under a FNO ban today are India Bulls Housing Finance. Tata Steel's in Indian production up 4.2% whereas delivery volume down by 3.6%. Europe's production down 6.25% whereas delivery volume up by 4.8%. ID Bay Bank will be focus in focus today as Expression of interest are submitted by big groups for majority stake. Titan sales climbed up 12%. They added 111 new retail outlets and jewelry business to grow by 11%. Aditya Birla Fashion Retail Limited proposes to raise 500 crores by issuing 5,000 listed NCDs of rupees 10 lakh each. Vipro's Q3 result will come on 13th January 2023. Tata Steel long products crude steel production up 41.6% and directs reduced iron steel production down 10%. Reduced iron sales down 9.15% and saleable steel sales down 23.56%. Kalyan Jewelers records consolidated revenue growth of 13% in Q3 and recorded 12% growth for its Indian operations. HCL Tech has been selected by ODP Corporation as its primary IT partner. NCLT admitted the insolvency petition against Future Sign Supply Solutions filed by DHL e-commerce. National Fertilizers has clocked a growth of 27% in fertilizer sales for April to December 2022. RSWM rights issue closed on 6th January with a subscription up to the tune of 1.31 times. Kim's makes further investments by acquiring 5.53% stake in Sarvejana Healthcare Private Limited. NHAE has awarded contract worth Rs. 11.17 crores to Dhruv Consultancy Services. Resolution applicant has infused Rs. 65 crore in Psychologistics as per the approved resolution plan. Crystal has reaffirmed the rating A1 plus rating to Karu Asia Bank's certificated deposits of 3000 crores. JK Simmons wholly owned subsidy has invested Rs 153 crore and completed the acquisition of 60% equity shares in of Acropines. Glan Pharma subsidy has entered into a share purchase agreement with FPCA, Sino French Midcap Fund and others to acquire 100% stake in Senexi and the Senexi housing entities. TCPL Packaging has invested Rs 2.59 crore in the rights issue of its subsidiary Creative Offset Printers Private Limited. 
Kamath Hotels approves issue of convertible warrants to promoters. Phonics Mills consumption in December 2022 is Rs 926.50 crores while retail collection stood at Rs 192 crores. Care rating has reaffirmed care AAA rating with a stable outlook for GA General Insurance Corporation of India. PTC India stake sale is attracting interest from Gautam Adami. JSPL will invest Rs 1,000 crore in recently acquired Monet is power to make it operational. Electronic March India's lock-in period for Anger Inversas ends partially this week. FPA is dumped Rs 72,000 crore IT stocks in 2022 over recession fears. Shoba Limited reported 36% year-on-year growth in sales bookings to Rs 1,424.70 crores for Q3. Punjab and Sindh Bank is expected to cross Rs 2 lakh crore business milestone soon. Hitech Pipes has signed an MOU with UP government to set up a mega manufacturing facility. Vaishali Parikh recommends two stocks for today. First one is Mahindra and Mahindra, buy at 1264, stop loss 1250, target 1288. GNFC, buy at 587, stop loss 580, target 604. Anuj Gupta stocks picks for today are buy State Bank of India. At current market price, target 625, stop loss 584. NCC buy at current market price, target 102, stop loss 88. Smith Bagadia stocks for today are ONGC buy at current market price, target 155 to 152 to 145, stop loss 144. Bajaj Auto buy current at current market price, target 3725 to 3750, stop loss 3575. Ganesh Gargis intraday stocks for today are HCL tag buy at 1033, stop loss 1010, target 1070. GSFC buy at 145, stop loss 135, target 160. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.